right, here's the game plan for the water changing, the hot water change off. Start out with the eggs, cook them maybe five minutes after this gets to boiling. Then go to this after I pull the eggs out, put the meat in, cook that, start pulling that out maybe after five, ten minutes. Then add, well no, I'll add potatoes with it slowly. Okay, so I'll start cooking the meat and the potatoes together and then pull as I feel. And then when I got all that out, I'll add corn. And that'll soak up all the water, all the hot water, cook, and and then, yeah, add some of this fresh basil. I've never seen this before. i have been using dry quite a bit to save money, but they have this in the frozen section. And it's usually better when it's in a fr fresher state. So that's the summary. That's the plan. See how it works out. All right, if you can't call a municipal citation pretty much almost a criminal citation, well, then you're misguided because it can lead to a criminal warrant for your arrest in in wherever you know it could be you could be on on one the west coast and be on the east coast it shows up on their national database that you have a warrant they love inputting those even for these the smallest of things for a municipal violation of leaving your car hood up okay it is it, it it's like it's it's a criminal it, it's it has the in in uh, like it could become uh, I don't know the word for it exactly. It could become a criminal uh, charge. Okay, all right. It's a precursor. It's a criminal precursor charge. Okay, so you, you want to treat it like it's a criminal charge. Okay, you have to defend yourself because if, if they if they successfully levy levy a fine against you, then that's a criminal precursor charge as well. Okay eventually it could turn into a criminal charge okay if you don't answer for it if you don't pay the money okay it can lead to an arrest on its own all right so they're not they're not something you just ignore because this is my best wind block i'm just scooting this thing in as far as i can i believe the wind is coming from that direction somewhere when the cop gives you that municipal citation, he's pretty much saying, I'm going to put your life in danger. Because if, if you let that slide, maybe you just forget about it or something, and, and another cop harasses you, which happens to me often, that, that uh, warrant will, for my arrest will come up. And it will only say warrant. It could be for anything. It could be for murder. It could be for, you know, the, the tickets. Either way, though, that heightens... The level of danger the level of force to be used against you so when that cop gives you any kind of ticket he's he's elevating the danger against you he's putting your life more at risk and he knowing he does that knowingly right so I'm making progress here I got the eggs finished and cooling down and, and they're cracked so I know they're good and I pulled a couple of potatoes out kind of early yeah, they could probably be cooked better. The knife went through them easy, but I think they probably have room to cook. Got a good flame. Wind's been picking up every so often. It's been pretty cool. You could tell by the frost. It's been pretty cool out here, windy, rainy. Answering the charge is the right thing to do. Protesting quickly, okay, and often. Whatever they, they throw at you, you have to protest, okay? Just like in court. You don't... You don't win cases by being silent, okay? You have to protest. You have to, uh, like, say or do do whatever, okay? That doesn't mean that you have to be a witness against yourself. Is is being a, a witness against yourself truly a protest, okay? Testifying against yourself, is that really protesting? No. You, you, you have to uh, speak up more on the on the legal matters of of how uh they're they're conducting themselves and and stick within uh what what your um your say just what what you can stick with what you can you can say in as 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 a protest that doesn't involve you having to to um violate your own fourth amendment rights all right, so I did undercook the potatoes. I'm just going to smash them up and see what I can get out of them, though. They should taste good with sour cream anyway.
because to me it's just it's just excuses okay when you when you violate your your fourth amendment rights try to give reasons okay what are you what are you doing here you know where are you headed to you, you're just it's it's uh it's just giving excuses it's like it the cop might as well just ask all those silly questions you know uh you know what are you doing here why are you here and and your business state your business and all that it's just asking for excuses okay what's your excuse but they can't say that that's a little rude all right so this corn looks pretty cooked and i got pork chunks in there it's actually maybe a little too liquidy though i wanted to cook it down so it'd be thicker it's not quite there but that's okay I'll live with that all right the city council and lawmakers in general are also well aware that they are giving you a a precursor to a criminal charge with a, with a warrant for your arrest should you ignore their their law their their local city law so it's it's very much uh, uh, talked about within within their their realms that um, they're 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 really putting you uh, they're, they're really they put the threat on put the, the pressure on that you could become uh, a criminal and and they're the ones that that hold that the key to to putting you into that position and and uh, when they add more laws and stuff that that even ups the game okay you you have uh an ele elevated elevated risks more laws are ele more elevated risks uh, with with the ordinance oh they're just a simple ordinance you pay or you, you go to the court and beg for mercy there's they're, they're all criminal criminal pre precursors and and uh, more are, are coming on the books and I just want to say that I, I really I never heard this before actually from Trump this is the first time where he, he said right at right like the first day for every law new law that you create erase two okay because we have too many um that was federal government cities are even tougher i'd like to see cities do that i'd like to see mayors with that kind of platform how would that work in politics on the city level and i got this out outer bowl to uh cover for any outside losses when i smash potatoes and you see a few did fall out i mean the law enforcement isn't just a legal um, legal enforcement, okay, uh, but it's also about uh, politics, okay, because politics is what led to the law enforcement. All right, you got to elect the right people who draft particular laws that they they all vote on, okay, laws don't exactly seem to be like voted by everybody okay you vote for the person who then gets together with other voted in people who then vote for the law whatever it may be enforce it hard enforce make make a tougher law or scale it back you know so there's a lot of politics that go into it people act like when it's the law it's 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 like something that you probably could find reference to in the bible like it's a permanent thing but there's there's a lot of personal issues that go into how these these uh these laws are made and a lot of them by dead people from from many many years ago from could be generations ago they might be re-looked at but just reauthorized okay you have to look at the history of how the law developed and you could always see every city it scales back from one page one year to two pages the next and it just keeps mounting on top of itself until you have a book of laws they don't they don't scale back it's 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 rare for a city to ever scale back unless you know something horrible happens to the city where they just completely disband and everybody had to move out for some reason I might have added too much of this New England's garlic pepper seasoning I hope not but it, it should still mix mix well. Just like they say, these basil leaves are really chopped, so I just kind of toss in, and I'll, I'll I'll crush them down a little bit more. They don't they don't really need to be crushed down. Use them all too, because you can always overuse. You can you never overuse basil. 
spots. I will say, I will admit it does kill the sex drive, just to be personal about that. You can probably read about that. And after, after the basil, I cut up some, all of these, I want to put all these tomato, Roma tomatoes in, mix those together, and then add the sour cream. Maybe I'll put a little of the pork and corn in with this, just fill it till it gets to the top or so. For a nice mix. I only cut them in half because I believe that I could probably crush them pretty good in here. There, there are a little solid. It's a problem when you buy these store-bought tomatoes out of season. Well, some people might add olive oil to this, but I've, I've gotten bad experiences with olive oil. The only bad experience I've gotten with sour cream is when I had three pounds of it and it um, got my stomach really upset. So. I want to make sure that, well this little thing isn't three pounds so I should be good. But I'll scoop the rest out there. At this point I have enough room in the bowl still. I'll fill it to the top. I want to fill uh, this up with a little corn and pork and then maybe a couple of eggs too to really have a nice variety. Alright, so I'm going to give this a little taste. Get it all mixed up pretty good. It's not perfectly mixed. Um, Alright, there I got a big bite of basil. It's pretty bland. But at least it's not addictive. That's what I want. So in conclusion, reducing, reducing the laws reduce police powers.